Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to share with you the amazing redox reaction of acidified potassium dichromate in hydrogen peroxide. Check this out. All I'm using in this reaction is 18 molar sulfuric acid H2SO4. I'm using potassium dichromate in an aqueous solution, 34% hydrogen peroxide, a couple of graduated cylinders, one with 100 milliliters of distilled water, some sodium hydroxide just to step down that hexavalent chromium at the end of our experiment, a dropper, and a spoon. The first step is just to pour 40 milliliters of 34% hydrogen peroxide to your first graduated cylinder. Next, add 50 milliliters of potassium dichromate to your second graduated cylinder and acidify it by adding just a few drops of 18 molar sulfuric acid to your solution. Okay, now we're ready to see the reduction of the potassium dichromate. Right now, that chromium ion has a plus six oxidation state, but when I add it to the hydrogen peroxide, it's gonna change to a plus three oxidation state, and its color will change too. Watch this. Look at that. Just instantly. Isn't that amazing? From that bright yellow to kind of a dark blue color. And if we stir it up a little bit, it's unstable and it'll slowly become clear again. So you can see my chromium peroxide, that deep blue is almost completely decomposed. And if I want to maintain that blue color, I was thinking to add a little bit of ethanol to the top of my potassium dichromate. Now, since it's less dense, it'll just kind of float on the top and it will maintain that deep blue chromium peroxide above it. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of ethanol so now you can see my suspension of ethanol is just on the top of my solution of potassium dichromate that's slightly acidified. Now I'm gonna start adding drops of my hydrogen peroxide and we'll see if that suspension of ethanol will turn blue. Okay, now we're ready to add our drops of hydrogen peroxide. You can see it's clear. Watch what happens to our solution. There's that blue layer. Let's see if that rises in our solution of ethanol and stays steady. Here you can see just a beautiful suspension down below. You have your potassium dichromate and up above you have your chromium peroxide that's stable in the ethanol. Just look at that. It's just amazing. Next, you want to step down your solution. If you have any hexavalent chromium, you definitely want to step that down. I'm going to use sodium hydroxide to do that. This will just be an acid-base reaction. I'm going to add four grams of sodium hydroxide to 100 milliliters of distilled water and create an aqueous solution. I'm going to slowly add your solution of sodium hydroxide just to step down your hexavalent chromium and you're just going to keep adding that you'll see the color change as it's neutralized and uh, this is just to safely dispose of your hexavalent chromium okay so what's going on in this amazing reaction is this is a reduction oxidation reaction remember reduction is when you gain electrons and so that would reduce your oxidation state and oxidation is when you lose electrons which would raise your oxidation state and we see that in the color change so we start out with the reactants potassium dichromate that's the k2cr207 and we add a little bit of hydrogen peroxide that's the h2o2 and the sulfuric acid that's the h2so4 those are our reactants and those create the products chromium peroxide that's the cro5 and that's what creates that deep blue color and potassium sulfate that's the k2so4 and water well, I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time.